viewer poll. Should I be concerned that men are sending me expensive gifts in the mail? Well, they haven't asked me to meet them at the truck stop yet, so I guess we're still good. Welcome back to OG's Danger Show. Dog shit, dead center in the black. Welcome back, original gangsters. Officer Greg out here with you on a super hot day out on the 100 yard range. Hey, I wanted to uh, give a couple of shout outs to some people who definitely deserve it and show you guys something kind of cool. A little while back, I made this video right here about the Marlin 4570, the Marlin 1895 in 4570. By the way, a lot of people got their panties all in a wad about the fact that I put on the thumbnail assault rifle of the 1880s. Oh gee, you're gonna give the Democrats, uh, you're gonna tip them off and that's the next thing you're gonna ban. Holy Lord. If you guys really think the Democrats are scanning YouTube to try to find what to ban, you got a different thing coming. However, Assault rifle of the 1880s is a term that's been used to tongue-in-cheek describe a lever-action rifle uh, pretty much as long as I've been alive. It's a joke, folks. Unwad your panties and let's get back to business. There's so many things in this life that really need to be worried about. You don't need to worry about some shit like that. So a while back I made this video and I mentioned in the video that I needed to put a scope on this rifle. It works great with its iron sights, its little peep rear sight and its front blade sight. However, to realize the real potential, of this 4570 round, I believe we probably need a low power scope on there, uh, something in the one to six power range. And uh, it was my intention to go out and buy one of those. I was contacted shortly after that video by a viewer in Wyoming. He's a, uh, a Great Plains big game hunter. And the viewer named Tony, who goes by the viewer name No Account, it's his, uh, it's his cowboy action shooting name, No Account, AKA Tony, contacted me by email and said, oh gee, I've got a scope that'd be perfect to send you. Um, I'd like to send you this scope. I'd be, it'd be perfect for that rifle. Uh, Tony knows all about lever action rifles. In fact, more than the average Joe probably should. Uh, Tony said he had the perfect scope for me. Now, I'm kind of picturing a scope that's all beat to shit and uh, scratched up, but I'm assuming in, in functional condition and I'm still very, very grateful. It's a scope I don't have to go out and buy. Well, what showed up in the mail was this almost brand new Leopold scope. This thing came to my P.O. box while I was here on duty. I opened it up. Um, it took me a while to even discern whether or not this thing was brand spanking new from the factory or whether it was actually used. So I contacted Tony. He stated that uh, he put the he put the scope on a rifle, on a rifle that he owned once. Uh, he sold the rifle without even using the scope. So the thing is brand new, folks. I mean, I pulled this thing out of the Leopold box and it still had the styrofoam end pieces. It still had the bubble wrap wrapped around it. It still had the shrink wrap. It still had the cellophane wrapped around the box. It was crazy. This thing is brand spanking new. This Pigplex reticle is actually kind of designed for fast target acquisition for, for game, um, obviously for hunting, uh, hunting pigs. It's a one to four power scope with nice thick crosshairs and pff, just makes a great scope. It's the perfect scope for this rifle. First and foremost, I want to send a shout out to Tony in Wyoming for sending me a practically brand spanking new uh, Leopold scope. And these things are not cheap, folks. So uh, that uh, that was very, very generous of Tony and I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Tony's one to four power scope came with these quick detach rings. That makes it easy to take the scope on and off uh, so that I can use the peep sights if something happened to the scope and it needed to remove it all of a sudden. However, one of the coolest features of this scope and its mount is the fact that you can co-witness the ring sights right through the base of the scope, right underneath. 
I can see straight through and so if for some reason the scope glass broke or became uh, blocked with snow or mud, I could switch instantly without even removing this thing to the peep sight uh, front blade sights that came on the rifle. The scope is one to four power and as anything made by Leopold, it is very well done, very easy to slide between one and four power, unlike some of the cheaper Chinese scopes, which you need a, uh, you need a pair of channel locks just to get this thing to turn. It's got adjustable turrets here, easy to remove caps, and finger adjustments ready to go. You don't need a special tool or anything. This thing can be adjusted in the field for elevation and windage. Now, if that weren't cool enough, another viewer who goes by Martin the Trucker Prepper a guy named Marty up in Northern Oregon. Uh, Marty's a retired police officer and he currently runs range up in Southern Washington. That's how close he lives to the border. Marty contacted me by email and said, hey OG, I used to have a 4570. I don't have it anymore. I'd like to send you a whole bunch of 4570 ammo. Well, it took me a couple of seconds to reply back and say, good Lord, that's a generous donation. Hi OG, how are you doing? Hopefully you'll enjoy these freedom seeds. Please use them wisely. So it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to realize that those boxes of ammo right there were probably going for about $40 a box back when things were good. Now they're probably worth closer to $60, $70 a box when you can find them. Marty just sent me, I don't know, 11 boxes of this stuff. Probably six, seven hundred dollars worth of ammo at no charge. So a big shout out to Marty in Northern Oregon. I very much appreciate the donation and we're going to put them to very good use here. While we're talking about donated add-ons, the oldest OG daughter and her boyfriend, Sergio the Bullet Whisperer, got me this leather butt cuff and this leather sling from Mason Leather for Christmas. This is a beautiful piece of leather, beautiful leather work, custom made for this rifle. They opted for the embossed flag and then a beautiful leather sling that perfectly complements this rifle. In addition to thanking these awesome donors who have really helped me equip this rifle. The point of this video also is to get this thing dialed in for 100 yards so I know that uh, the rifle as it comes out of my closet would work with these rounds at 100 yards. So let's go put some target stands out there at 100 yards and put a couple of rounds in there. Make sure that we're on paper. yards with the Cowboy HSM rounds. And of course me without a spotting scope. Looks like I'm gonna be doing some walking in the sun. Holy dog shit, dead center in the black. That's good times. All right, so there was our first one. A little bit to the right, so we dialed it back over. This was the next one, 12 o'clock, but right above the black. And at 100 yards, that was our final round. That I like to see. We're gonna give him one headshot just to wrap things up out here at the range. Get some. I think we got him. What do you think? One more for good measure, right in the head. Let's do it. All 
I think we got him. Let's go take a look. It's tough not to get flinchy after 20 rounds of that big thumping bullet. Here's two more into the head of this target, just for S's and G's. I like that. Look how big those holes are. You know what, those holes were almost big enough. That's right, you saw it here first. Big old giant freight trainer rounds. All right, gangsters, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I've got no more energy left. I've been out here at the range all day long, baking in the heat, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. More than anything, I want to give a shout out to Marty in Northern Oregon for sending me just a whole badass stash of ammo. And I want to give a big shout out to Tony in Wyoming for this awesome scope on this 4570. You guys are the best. So it just goes to show if men you don't know from out of state want to send you expensive baubles in the mail, eh, let them do it. What could go wrong? All right, folks. I appreciate you guys watching. If you wouldn't mind, give me the subscribe and the little the thumbs up thing, whatever, blah, 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 down below, that would be cool. If you uh, would like to help us out on Patreon, I would appreciate your help. And you can find the link down below. Until then, you guys stay safe out there. Stay armed where you are legally allowed to do so, even if it's with a 4570. I will see you in the next video. OG out.